Uh, what would you like to leave as a message for your granddaughter about your experiences in the radical movement? Turn it off a minute, I have to think about it. I would like my granddaughter to feel that in carrying forward the struggle for freedom and human dignity, that we have to look to our forebears who put this first, be it Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, Frederick Douglass, or nameless black who contrary to what many establishment historians and sociologists and what have you, novelists, would have us think, is that we never fought for our freedom. And that in each era, we must select the best instrument to carry forward that struggle. And that is what should come first with us. That compromise, that settling for things does not lead to happiness or satisfaction. I may not leave you any earthly possessions, but you don't need them. That you can get for yourself. But I can leave you, what I would like to leave you is a feeling that whatever small contribution I have made has not been a sacrifice. It has been the thing that has given me the greatest pleasure. And that you will build and you will do more. And that no one is free until all people are free. That riches don't bring happiness. That to have plenty where millions are starving doesn't fill your belly. That compromise is not a companion of dignity. And that satisfaction and completion of your life will be one in which you can say, I have done my part in the struggle.